you so quiet. Mm. It's weird at first, isn't it? It takes a while to get used to. So should I look at the camera? Or it's speaking to someone? Okay, you start it off because I'm going to get some water. I need some water. Um, I think let's wrap, should we just like wrap up 2018? on my edges. Mm -hmm. Those are baby hairs. So this microphone is pretty cool. Like the fact that it's so quiet, like I need to figure out the settings for it, but we're creating um, our podcast station. <laughs> this would not be a good podcast because a podcast that you actually have to talk the whole time like right yeah like i mean i guess they i've been watching more podcasts though when they do podcasts like this so like there is a, it's a podcast where it's like a youtube but then they upload do they upload the video the the audio separately usually it'll be like the video and the audio on youtube and then just the audio on other like like podcasting whatever is like yeah um spotify or whatever so the thing is, but like, I only watch the ones with the video. I can't listen. That's because you're not, not a good listener. You're not driving and stuff like that. Yeah, I want to see them talking. Oh, the only time I listen to, or not the only time, but I'll listen to podcasts when I'm going to sleep, mm -hmm. and when I'm driving, or actually like in the mornings, like if I. Not that I take showers in the mornings, but if I do something in the morning and I know I can't look at the thing anyway, but um, if I think that if you do a podcast, I mean podcast with video, it's easy, you know, because when you're boring on audio, maybe they can get some cool, interesting videos like watching me fix my edges. <laughs> See, parents love doing that knowing what agitates their children and then pushing the buttons because it's so easy it's like boop, boop, boop. the buttons like right there boop, 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 boop. see I should have been a sound effects person <laughs> <laughs> right mm -hmm. don't let me steal the show don't let me be the funny one mm, I will. oh now she sparks up so I forgot what we were talking about. Okay, so yeah, so I was just saying like, okay, if we were to upload just the audio in a podcast, like I think a podcast, like if it's a podcast where it's literally like on Spotify or something, it, it, it's potential that it has to be a lot more interesting. But does it though? Because on radio stations and stuff, like they have, they just talk and it's not every single second is interesting. <laughs> you know yeah but I feel like the radio is like for more like white noise cause they never they all sound the same yeah radio can be good I mean you don't you didn't you don't know radio cause you never grew up with radio like so you don't know I don't know radio anymore cause I just am like Spotify okay so it is let me take a deep breath. 2019 and 2018. How was 2018 for you? Um, pretty good. Really good, actually. I think summer was really good. It was a really good time. 
When you were away from me? No, when I was showing. Oh. And I had Bo come into my life. You miss Bo? Mm-hmm. So I think 2018 was... My eyes, like, been doing this weird twitch thing. It was, like, really strong the other day. And then it just happened just now. It, and then, you know, in my mind, because I can feel it, it's, like, you know, like, really serious. But someone would have to really be, like, seriously looking into my eyes to notice it, probably. Do you include the fish for? <laughs> Darn it. I got to get my thank, glasses. Goodness, thank goodness it, um... Okay, how long is this video going to be? We're, are we boring? Okay, this is our first one. Okay, so Roberto Blake and Connie and the future and um, video influencers and Sean, I'm, gonna, I'm not good with pronouncing. Pronouncing. I can't even pronounce the word pronounce. Sean Canelm. That's name, Mikey Busta. So, what's our name? What's our other favorite? Like they, they all talk about your first thousand videos, sharings, etc., being pretty. That you have to get them out of the way. So this is our. We're getting this out of the way. We are. Why do we want to share? Why don't we start with that? Twenty nineteen. I think. I want I, I, I want to get comfortable being uncomfortable and actually this isn't even all that much uncomfortable for me anymore because I think I started the process during the summer and so it's not it's not as uncomfortable um, but 2019 today's January 1st 2019 and we've talked about sharing things through social media YouTube etc a lot and Maybe it's good to talk about, do you really want to do it? Do we really want to do it? And if so, what, why? Why have we wanted to do it? Hmm. Do you want me to go first? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have always loved social media, YouTube technology, um, because I think sharing is amazing I just think communication and sharing knowledge and joy and information and opinions and thoughts and feelings and everything I think the more and more people can share the more and more people can understand love connect learn and you know the thing is not you know it not everything is for everyone you know but I think would you say I'm an over communicator? <laughs> you said, mm -hmm. you think I'm an over communicator? Yeah. Meaning like too much? At least compared to most people. But so you think it's excessive? Mm, to other people, other people would say probably. Other people would say I'm excessive? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's just your passion is to share. Do you think that as a kid I talked a lot? No. How did you know that? Because every time you ask a question, <laughs> I can tell the answer. <laughs> but by the way that I talk so much now, or you're saying that I over-communicate or whatever now, or I'm excessive about it, would you say that it's because... Would you have guessed that I was either quiet or not quiet? This is what she does when I start talking. She, <laughs> she gets sleepy. <laughs> All right, well, I don't want to bore everybody, so let's not talk about that. Anyway, I just think that it's amazing to share and whatever because, I mean, I think it's communication and learning and everything is – it's why 
we advance, I think, as humans and everything. I think everything advances through communication and sharing. Um, so technology is amazing to me. It's not. It's amazing. It's cool. It's blah blah blah. But just what it can do and how it can connect and how it can make us efficient and just do things that we would have never ever been able to do is is incredible. So that's why I want to share. You know, I think a lot in terms of if if I only had one year, five years, ten years, or whatever um, left for some, for some reason. Like, I always, you know, because I'm big into documentation and sharing and all that stuff that I, yeah, I, I just want, I'd want to pass on because when I love something, I just really love it and I want others to be able to love it too if, if it ends up being something that they love. So I just gave like a 45 minute answer of why I've always wanted to share. I've always been scared to, um, but we can get into that later. But um, how about you? Yeah. And it's okay if yours is, um, you know, materialistic driven or, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no, no, I'm just kidding. Um, what, what, what would be your reason? Or do you, do you honestly feel you're ready and that you want to do it? Because, yeah, I, yeah, I know we've talked about it a lot. Yeah, I think I like podcasts to, like, share opinions and know what people think and what people are talking about, how people feel on different things. You can have your own opinion. I mean, you're super smart. You are... You always have some really funny and interesting ways of looking at things. So smart, so cool, hilarious. So I think you sharing in any way that you can and would would be such a gift to the world. Thank you. That's why everyone loves Natalie. Natalie. Because um, you are. You're super fun. And, you know, the thing is that, you know, so even some people in our family think that you're quiet or not quiet but they just don't see that side of you they don't see so many sides of you they don't realize how many sides you have and um they're always like taken back like when they finally get to see another layer of you you know um because you are you're like super cool you know like you just chill especially in certain environments you know our family is, uh, they're quite outgoing, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. They're out there. So you and I are observers, you know, so we, we, we've, for the most part, been very chill when we're in their presence because they're like, you know, and I think that ends up being so that, you know, you you know, in certain circumstances, you don't take center stage as an example, not literally like center stage, but you know, you're not, you know, as vocal. Um, and so then when you are, they're always like, oh my gosh, you know, it's pretty cool. So only a few know. So what do you think we should do every day? Just talk mm. for now. Or should we do themes? And, and also, don't you and I, I think we've talked about this. We want to encourage other people to do this, to share. This is the time right now. Like, the, the, the bullies of the internet and all that stuff, have all that's all gone. That's, there's no more. I'm not going to say there's no more of that, but it's, you know, it, it was, I think when it first happened and people were so mean on Twitter, or this, I'm not saying that they still aren't, but... That was, it wasn't that it was acceptable, but no one knew how to handle it. You know what I mean? Like YouTube, blah, 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 whatever. Like literally, like people were saying all kinds of crazy things and YouTube, all, all these problems. This is a still fairly new technology. Everyone was just like, uh, okay, I guess YouTube's for mean people to hide behind their computer and say bad things. And they just, you know, everyone was kind of like in shock of like, <laughs> what do we do? 
and time and time has come and now all the technologies are like okay we're not doing this anymore we're not going to be a platform for mean or bad people that have ill intentions to come on here and use our services twitter all these things these are free things I'm still shocked at it. I, I'm going to knock on wood because I, I think any day YouTube is going to be like, no, you're not allowed to upload. You can't just be uploading gigs to our servers. If you want to, that's going to cost you $400 a month. You know, I, I'm not going to wood again. I, I'm in shock that these services that we use every day all the time are free. Again, like it's like, you know, if you wanted to have a commercial or a TV show back in the day, you'd be like, oh, I don't know anyone on Broadway and I'm not going to college for it, so, oh, well. And then you just go and, like, I don't know, ride your bike or something, which is good. Then we should still go outside and ride your bike. But you did not, you couldn't be like, you know what? I think I'm just going to start recording myself and and put it out there in the world and block. like you couldn't do are you kidding me? i mean the the opportunities and the things that we have now are are crazy ridiculous what, what was i going with this what was i what was i talking about oh so we're trying to encourage people to share and and now is the time because there's not bullies there's not bad things this, this is the time for sweet, good-hearted, good-souled, creative individuals to shine. This is, this is, this is that time. And I'm not saying like bad people, it's not your time to shine. Like you guys are interesting too. Um, but if you've been shy, if you have something to say, not even something to say, if you know something, Share, you should share it. I think everybody, you know, a lot of people say this. A lot of the influence that are influencers that we talked about, they all say this. Everyone has something to share, something to give, something to contribute, and we should all feel comfortable enough and be encouraged to share it. I mean, back again, okay, I'm just, this is the last thing I'm going to say. I know I go on tangent. Back in the day, what did you have? A dictionary? So no computers, okay? I grew up in an era where at one point there were no computers. So can you imagine nothing, not a cell phone, not a computer. There was no internet. You know what you had as resources? Your parents, if they talked to you, a dictionary. The dictionary was probably not color. You know, there's not pictures in there. If you were lucky, you maybe had an encyclopedia and if that you had only had letters a through f because your parents had to pay for each one and they couldn't afford past d you know what i'm saying like that was it so how much sharing how much did you could you find out that sue knew how to crochet and maybe somebody wants to crochet and she can share it on youtube like no literally whoever you were next to is who you got information from and that was it. I don't remember what I was talking about now. Okay, so, wh yeah, what's your point? <laughs> Are you laughing? Are you going to send this video to your friends and then be like, see what I have to deal with? She couldn't even help herself. She had kept going. No, the first mukbang I did, I would send to my friends. Say what? I'd, I'd send the other one. What other one? <laughs> well, you got mad at me. Which one? Oh, the, when I was trying to show you how to do the thing on the phone and, and it was wrong? <laughs> no, that one's funny. Oh, the mukbang. Oh, yeah. Why? Why would you send your friends? Oh, just so you could see what you deal with? But see, <laughs> context is everything. You have to know what... Oh, I remember that. Okay, so our <laughs> so wrap it up because I'm boring and I end up just being lecture style according to you. No. And answer me too. Oh my God, I could not watch. I mean, oh my goodness, I shouldn't say that. Oh my goodness, I could not watch it. It was really boring. This is probably boring because I probably should talk too much. Mm. Okay, so I have a question. Am I boring? Do I lecture a lot? I know I talk a lot. I probably talk a lot like in terms of giving you information and guidance and life stories and stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Four to six hours per day, every day for 15 years More now. Than six. 
Me more than 46. Sometimes it's a lot. And do you find it... Yeah. So somebody said, well, how is life living with your mother? Mm, it's funny. <laughs> it's probably hard. No. It's funny. It's funny? Yeah. Why? I don't know. It's just funny. I didn't think you're not going to do it. And then you start. And you're like... <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, she's not going to do it today. She's not going to go into anything. Yeah. And then I just can't help myself. I honestly did not think I was going to do it just now. And then <laughs> here I am listening to myself. You know who I think parents like me is Uncle Pal. Really? Yeah. I've heard Rita say that he starts talking and goes into things and then it's, it's, it's days long. It's like it never ends, and it's the same stories, and it's whatever, and it's just lecture after lecture after lecture. Yeah. <laughs> he probably does. But it's probably because that's what I did with him, too. It's a he lot did? of explaining. But, you know, I think, um, I don't know. I, there's a lot in the world. There's a lot going on in the world. You're going to get a lot of information. Even with me talking to you two to four to six hours a day, how much more information are you getting outside of me? Well, what do you mean? You know, with whatever you're, you're watching oh. on YouTube. You're, so, so I think that... I thought you meant like in lectures. <laughs> I was like, not really. <laughs> you're like, I have a college worth. But, so I think that... I don't know, for me, I just, I don't know, one, I can't help myself, but two, I just, you're going to get a lot of information, and I feel like you should get a lot of it from me, if I know anything about it, and um, we all, like, when we grow up, we end up becoming exactly like our parents, in some ways, or we end up becoming exactly the opposite of our parents, and I think, you know, not in every single scenario, but that happens sometimes, you know, and I think because I was not, I did not get talked with about a lot that, I don't know, maybe it turned into an overshare. All right, so tomorrow or... Should we just like talk it out? I guess until we figure out what we want to do, we'll just devote the next 90 days to uploading and chatting. And then if it starts to develop, because I'm not, I don't plan to tell anyone that we're doing this. Like, I just want to upload them so that we can watch them and we can learn. But I don't want to promote anything. Is that how you feel? Yeah. Yeah, we're just Maybe doing this later. for testing. Do you think we can... I really want to think of a really good name for my um, horse thing. Because I think that's what my main thing is going to be. Even, like, Justine Palmer posts, like, other stuff. It's not just her riding. She posts, like, games and stuff. So I think I want my, my main thing to be about horses. Because whenever I play Minecraft, whenever I play Sims, it's usually also about horses. Yeah. So I'm sure I have the same target audience so you so I, wa so I basically once I think of my equestrian name that's my name for everything besides my personal Instagram yeah so that's why I really want to think of a good one one that I like could make a make a make a so maybe a logo for it but I want to still start filming vlogs like every I Friday with you and stuff yeah, maybe we should do this because I think it's actually something really helpful about talking this out and having a set thing, you know. So for 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 now, for like this week, like I think, or just moving forward, let's let's both commit to let's brainstorm our channels for the ninety days. Do, with this method and not just brainstorm but we can we can document our processes of our creations this way and so like you know somebody can come back or we can go back and watch these 
and hear how our process like you know what I mean like tomorrow maybe we could well we commit to 20 minutes where okay tomorrow maybe we try to focus on like the simple things like Natalie Eck and then like maybe if you're we can start doodling some things or thinking of the names and then I I tomorrow can think of okay well if I'm gonna do a separate thing am I gonna upload once a week and am I gonna do it on technology tips or what you know what I mean and I think like actually uploading these and being able to watch them just us talking it through we're gonna see lots of stuff we're gonna see we're gonna hear whether or not this this the blue yeti is working in this condition how it looked when I looked into the camera versus not versus less animated versus more animated you know we're gonna learn a lot we have to do I think uh, Roberto Blake is talking about that heavy like it's like and, and um, video influencers consistency is key we have to do something all the time we're not gonna get better without so like our first vlog with um, Robin was really good that was really good we did. We took a lot of footage. Um, maybe. I really, really had a good time making it. You were a little shy. I think that we should. But what did you think of the audio? The sound quality wasn't bad, but we can get like. Um, yeah, I thought it was good though. I think you just need to speak up, to be honest. I thought I was speaking up then. No, like even in this video, I'm pretty sure we're gonna hear how you're not speaking up. Um, but so we could even you we could even take that I don't know if you want to use that footage but like mm -hmm. do a first video you can try it on this Mac until we get the next one yeah at least I want to edit it this just try mm -hmm. see what I like so should you and I commit to one what video one video share this week on top of these but like an actual like you take time to do an edit I let's do a challenge like we'll do a like every week we should do a challenge that's fun let's let's come up with a plan off camera of different challenges that we can do video editing style and we'll do one video per week we'll pick a challenge you do it on your topic with a question world I'll do it on my topic which would probably be technology or I don't know I don't know um, technology Marie Kondo or oh, wait, you gotta watch your Netflix you should do a reaction well, I, well it was it wasn't it didn't have the reaction from myself that I was expecting to get. I think I could explain Marie Kondo. I think you should at least better. I think you should talk about it. You should post a video about it. About the Marie Kondo process. Netflix. You series. know what? Be Only about the Netflix series first. To get the clip. Oh, I see where you're going with this. Like, I don't know intro to Marie Kondo or I don't know or do you think I should explain Netflix. do you think I should explain well maybe I should say you know with the Netflix special coming on I'm I, gonna explain my process because to be honest with you this whole journey of mine I know you you you've s sort of seen it but for the last two or three years wouldn't you say that my growth and my spirit and everything probably really started or I really I really started turning the corner in terms of like learning myself and growing or whatever and it started with the Marie Kondo process and it started with the Marie Kondo process because of the situations that I, I got in in terms of the Canterbury house having to clean it up wanting to touch everything always wanting to get organized remember when we had to clean out those um, storage units at the old apartment that was the worst <sighs> We had like five. We've been through. We've been through stuff, but it, we've. I've grown a lot, and I think that when I think about it now, it all started with that because 
one of the things that Marie Kondo talks about, maybe I'll talk about this, and maybe I should do a series on Marie Kondo, because it really did, it sparks joy. She says you have to go through that process one good time, the tidying up marathon, because you don't know what's going to make you happy until you go through at, at minimum the belongings that you have that you're carrying with you and figuring out what sparks joy is the name of a book and going from there and everything else seems to fall in place and it really it really is true did you do you feel like watching me as your mother and like can you see it now that like you know I started with the Marie Kondo process and having to clean out everything from Canterbury House to moving to and like and now it's like in terms of relationships bad relationships or bad not not bad but like not for me relationships and even things in the home or just even situations like I don't want to deal like I do know what makes me happy and what doesn't a lot more than I ever have So maybe I should do it. I mean, and actually, technology is in every piece. So if I do it on the on the Marie Kondo Sparks Joy process, that actually, if I was going to help as many people as possible, I think that I would start with that. I would say, and so many people need it. I don't think I've ever talked to one person who does not feel overwhelmed by the amount of items and belongings that they have. And I just took over this entire conversation once more. I want to make horsey videos. <laughs> so you want to make horsey videos, and I'm gonna make. So maybe we, maybe we just. We, you know what? I have Roberto Blake's, um, vid, uh, video, how to make awesome videos formula or something. Maybe that's what we do every week. We go through and look at the different steps and like you know if step one is pick your pick your channel or number two and then the second one is pick your artwork and number three you know what I mean and maybe we go through that on here and that would be cool for the next 30 days so we do these types of like brainstorming sessions together so that people can see what our process is like and then we also do once a week video upload outside of these that are like, or not video upload, but like, you know, uh, the checklist of, of either his formula or Connie's or someone's just. See, I, so, cause with me, I'm a very like process based. I need like one step, one step, two step, three, but you're actually the opposite of me. You just go for it and it usually works well. In my brain, I think I have to do everything so systematically, and then you come around and you just bust, blurt it out, and it's great. And then I'm like, oh. But how do you feel like we should go about it? Yeah, I think you do good when you just blurt it out too, like when you did your video challenge. You made really good videos out of your first one, getting comfortable. Being on camera. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, because you, you never compliment me. You rarely compliment me. I didn't. I thought I did. Remember I was trying to get you to watch them, and you, like, never, ever watched them when you I were in... I watched them, like, 12 times. No, in Alabama. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to watch them yet. So do you want to pick a process, or we'll just figure it out this week? I think when we wing it is when we decide when we don't do anything. That's my fear is like saying that we'll schedule just schedule it. Yeah, right. You're right, Tony Robbins. If you mm -hmm. schedule it, it will happen. I forgot the four other things, but you dream it, think about it, plan for it. It doesn't matter. But when you schedule it, that's mm -hmm. when your dreams come true. Mm -hmm. So what should we do? Sorry, I keep thinking about Florida. Anything Maybe when I get off this, because um, I haven't done my journal, I think we should also journal every day, even if it's literally like, hi, bye. I think the output helps it get out of our minds, you know? I think I want to journal so I can put, so I can manifest things. 
Yes, so that's a good one. So write all good stuff in it. I think I want to make my journal kind of like my vision board. Well, do you want to draw one of these? A vision board? Yeah, make one of these. Like, like print out pictures and mm -hmm. stuff? I think that would be really good. It'll just be a photo. <laughs> Whatever. Dakota, a bunch of horses, mm -hmm. maybe it's screen, a couple screenshots of the Sims builds that you do. You I know. did put in my journal I wanted to make a vision board. I think we should take one of it. Oh, and that actually could be one of my videos. That could be a video of like telling people, I've, I've thought about that, telling people how Maybe. to make vision boards in the way that I've th thought of it. Oh, and if we do that, if I plan that, then we can, then you can also make it. Oh, so maybe that's step one. Oh, my hair is curling again. Maybe that's step one. Mm -hmm. I plan mm -hmm. for the different ways to make a vision board. And then the next, maybe we take turns every other week like one week I make the video or I plan the video and then the next week you do a video I don't know or maybe we should each do a weekly vlog and post it like on the same day oh instead of the dailies because mm -hmm. I like weekly vlogs because it's more like exciting yeah and it's not as much work. Mm -hmm. Even though you do have to vlog every day. But for one of the days, you can just be like, all right, today I'm editing. You know? Yeah, one of the tips that they, the person I just watched, um, or the couple that I just watched, did talk about, like, once you film, though, like, if you can edit right away because you remember what you just filmed, it's kind of, like, the best way to do it. And we, we might not have our computers set up to to withstand a bunch of video editing quite yet. Unless this one, the Mac, holds up. The Mac. Mm-hmm. Do you think I get to ride to Kota like on Mondays? Would you want to take me on Mondays? Oh, we'll have to see how things go. You got it better than I told you. All right, so it's 8 o'clock. How long have we been going? Oh, I don't know. Shall Not we, as far as this one. Shall we end it? Yeah, but are you going to have much photo? Yes, are you? Mm, maybe in a little bit. Oh, why are you thinking of my plan? Yeah. Like again? Oh, so you like this. Yeah. Should we go, should we do the next one? Should we live so it doesn't have to save down? And post it? Well, were we going to post this one? Yeah. Let's post this one, and then, yeah, you want to do another one, and then you want to talk about something else? Maybe. Okay. So we'll end this one, and then come back? Yeah. Oh, you have an idea in mind, don't you? Mm, not really. I'm just excited. About posting? Yeah. About talking. Thinking about 2019. Yeah, because actually I feel uncomfortable. Like, we haven't nailed down what we're going to do tomorrow or something, so it would be good to... I don't even know if I'm going to go to school tomorrow. I don't think you should go to school tomorrow. I'm about to text my friend, like, you want a fever or not? No, I, I... In the past, when you have had a fever, they've asked you to stay out of school for a couple of days because you're just going to keep passing it on. And then what if I get it more? Yeah. So, if we post Ooh, this tonight, she's gonna... sick. Haha, <laughs> Miss McAllister had to see me in 13 days. Ooh. All right, let's see how this one posts. Watch it and then come back at 9. You really want to watch it? No, I do want to watch it because I want to learn and that way I know what's oh, happening, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm going to do my journal and then we're going to also brainstorm and figure out. I just, I just. I want, yeah, I have stuff I want to talk about. Oh, wait, look, look, I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing the thumbnail. Wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, you know.
no. Stuff out. She hates you. Look. No, don't say that. No, she doesn't. Look, look, every like look, every right time now. they do a thumbnail, it's always it has to be like a Is what they do. Wait, okay, so what would a 2019, what would this one be? It would be. They make just dramatic faces, so. Yeah, like, oh. But what would, what would the theme of this one be? It would be. Just <gasps> That just hurt my mouth. It's okay. Good. All right. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to write in my thing. And look at this from Connie. So I love Connie. The magic questions. Because I'm part of co-create. I'll let you know. Um, Roberto Blake and Connie um, both... I'm members of, and I have been participating in that those groups, and I love them. What is your mission? What is my mission? What is your vision? What is my vision? Can you tell me mine? I'm always asking my daughter to help me. To share next. Oh, and I need to take a shower. My hair curled again. I was sad. It was straight for a long time. Why do you want it straight? It's so pretty. No, because Maya and Amara wanted to straighten it they so that they like... could cut it. But oh, I, I need to cut so my hair. It looks so stupid too. straight. No, it doesn't. It looks sad. It looks weak. It looks weak. Your hair is beautiful, natural, Ow. and if you also want to straighten it. Looks it looks moist. It looks great. I love that they cut it. You want to cut my hair? It does. I'm glad they cut it. They did you were straight. you were you were upset at first, weren't you? you no, I was you, like, "You are not cutting my hair, you imbecile!" And then they were like, "No, let me do it. It'll be look good." And I'm like, "No, because you're gonna cut up too high, and then I can't fight you because I didn't pay you." I was like, "Who am I gonna blame if it looks butt?" And they're like, "It's not gonna." But look did butt. you like it at first, yes, or did you, did you think that they cut too much? They cut it. I said, "Oh my god, that is were you nine mad? inch." Were you they upset? said, "Yes, yes." See, I knew you were, even when you told me. I was like, I'm gonna kill you. That Even, is not an intro. And now like, you love it. The dead part. It's see how you part. see I'm how like, it's too high. See how you change your 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 thought process. You should text them and let them know. I'm I sorry. Did. I love I it. I did. I told. I said, and then at the end I said, oh, because they took a picture. Because when they first cut the first piece, it was so much higher than the rest. I was like, oh my god, that is not an inch. And they were just laughing. They're like, no, you're gonna love it. I'm like, oh my god, that's not an inch. They're like, it looks so good. I'm like, no, stop laughing. Just cut it. And then I looked at it, and then they're like, it looks so good. I was like, okay, you're right. It does. It looks good. Here, set up so you can show. It's wet. I don't like it wet. Can you see? It's living at the bottom. So now it can grow. Yeah, it's a lot. All right, we're going to post this Look, and mommy, see. You got to cut it now. You got to cut, like, this much. Look, I'm going to show you. Do you want to cut it? You gonna cut it on camera? No, the, I didn't cut my own hair. They cut. You should cut like this much. Okay, I'm gonna cut it right now. Okay. I'm gonna cut. Oh, maybe we come back. We come back. Oh, let's do. Let's do the Mikey. Like let's do the Mikey Bustos. Um, like. <laughs> wait, wait. Am I gonna? Yeah, you should do that much. I swear, that's how much are we like. gonna? No, wait. I, I'm not supposed to give it away. Like, give away what I'm gonna do. Cut. They cut a lot of mine. Looks like a lot. Why don't you cut it? I didn't cut. All right, mine. so I come back gonna... tomorrow to see a live cutting Ew, of this. It's kind of gross. Though. What? Hair. <laughs> <laughs> This is, you know why I don't spend any money on doing anything here? Because I'm too busy spending money on technology. Mm. That's what I tell my friends. I said, you have so much expensive stuff. I'm like, yeah, but we have two shirts. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so. We have two. We don't your spend. Your point is. We don't eat. 
so we don't spend any money on food. Oh, mom, I know we have Chipotle, but I really, really want to eat that ramen. Then eat the ramen. The fridge eat the Chipotle tomorrow. Delicious. Oh my God, should I go to school? No. I feel better and my throat just hurts, but I feel like it's going to be better tomorrow. I need that. But we never Here, check my, my temperature. No, thank you. We never checked my temperature. <laughs> See how like you get more and more comfortable? I, I just got excited because I was thinking about a Dakota vlog. Best Torch Show vlog. Are you with up, you guys? Yes. Today I'm going to get a blue ribbon. Why don't you, you want to do an edit on the Mac? I need videos of my child Dakota. I know, but you could do it of Robin. Oh, I could make the cutest one because Xavier took all these videos of us. Oh, where are they? On my phone. We, we made a vlog. I have to edit that vlog, too. I have to edit the Robin vlog, and I'm going to edit the vlog me and Xavier took together. Well, I don't have one to edit. I have two. I'm booked and busy. <laughs> what am I, 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 do I need structure? Maybe I don't need, need, need structure. I just do a bunch of random stuff like you are. Yeah. I want to post the Robin one. I, I think I want to post the Xavier one. But uh, we can also like share on social media. Like if there's things that just don't fit, like for a video, we can start. I sharing. took videos of like oh, what wait, it looks how, like to ride her. How um how did my her neck is so cute? Let me see how. Oh, uh, I should have looked to see how my Instagram story did. I never checked them. Oh no no I did I did I did I put them. What the heck, Miss Daniel? Shut up. Sorry. She posted something on Google Classroom like it's not. It, nobody's thinking about your class. I don't even have your class tomorrow. How do you know? I don't. It's How do you an know a if it's day. A, B, C, D? It's an A day tomorrow. See? You're lying. I don't see Oh, it. you voted no. You don't get scared. Wait, what was it? Would you be nervous if your pet started talking to you through an open I, screen? You note? said you wanted to look at the, the statistics, so I thought everyone hit yes, so I wanted to hit no. How could you, Natalie? Look, look how that looks. See? Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, okay, that does not work. I'm gonna have to show how, because I wanted to see share results. Oh, neat. How do I share? Oh, neat. Man, technology, I tell ya. Oh my god, Ladybug is it. Everybody always wants to say Ladybug is not a good horse, but she's so fun. Everyone is sleeping on Ladybug for no reason. Okay. Shall we end this? Mom, my Instagram is good. I need to post again. Let me see. What, on Wannabe? Yeah. They're going to change the name. Oh, look at Bo. Oh, he looks so good. I can't believe I, was, I actually posted a video from Beth. That was so good of me. I was so scared. I was like, this is so embarrassing. But it's actually a good video. Okay. Are we done with this one? Yes. Shall we let them go? I want to do social media, y'all. <laughs> Follow my horse account. Shall we link below? I was going to say link in the description. But link in the description below. Do you think I should still work on... It doesn't exist yet. J-Love's um, website? Or do you think that that's done? I don't need to do it. Do what? the J loves website or or a website to see I think like having structured you know Vlog, right? No, but hold on, let me end this so that it's not.
Like, do you think I should, do you think it's still important for me to do this or no? Yeah. So should I try to do this with it? Yeah. I, no, no, like seriously. Should I? Now should I? Oh my god, Dakota is the cutest little thing. Alright, I'm going to do it. Should it be J Loves or Innovative Techies? Okay, love you. Bye. Bye.